What's up everyone, it's Liz. Today, I'm gonna walk you through what unearned revenue is and how to record it on your books in QuickBooks Online. Unearned revenue is a liability and it's money that you received but haven't technically earned yet. So I'm gonna walk you through how to record this on your books. So let's get started. Okay, so first what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at the invoice that we have for these services. So as you can see right here, we have Amy's Bird Sanctuary and they paid ahead of time. They paid for all of the third quarter. So you could see that the quantity is three at $2,500 a month. So that equals $7,500. There's different scenarios where people will pay ahead of time. Sometimes you might offer a discount. Sometimes they just want to get it out of the way and just pay for the whole quarter. Regardless of the reason, you want to make sure that you put this in unearned revenue because it's not earned yet. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to show you what this looks like on the P&L and why we need to move it out into the unearned revenue account. So here I go to reports, I go to P&L, and if I click on design income, and as you can see on the bottom, we have the invoice that was paid for the 7,500. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and we're gonna create an adjusting journal entry and I'm gonna pull the entire 7,500 out and I'm gonna put it into the unearned revenue account which is gonna be sitting in the balance sheet. So let's go do that. So here's the 7,500. If I click new and I go to journal entry, I'm just gonna make sure that I move this out. So design income is where it's sitting and I'm gonna debit the 7,500 because that's gonna decrease the income account. Here I have my unearned revenue, there's my 7,500, so I debited that revenue account and then I credited the unearned revenue account, which is a liability. So if I hit save, so now I'm gonna go into the balance sheet and I'm gonna show you what it looks like when it's sitting in unearned revenue. So here under the reports, I go back to the balance sheet and as you can see, now we have this balance of 7,500 sitting in unearned revenue. Again, unearned revenue is a liability because you have not earned that yet. So now what would happen is each month when you work off that amount, you're just going to move it out of unearned revenue and put it into that income account. Now I'm gonna show you a little trick. We're just gonna create the journal entry now as a recurring entry and you don't have to think about it. The only time that this doesn't work is if it's like a project-based income thing where it depends on the amount of hours so that your income or your total is gonna be different each month. So because this is monthly recurring, we're going to move it over and let's do this trick so we can set it and forget it. So from here, I'm gonna click on the gear and I'm going to go over here to where it says recurring transactions. Now, if I click new, I'm gonna click journal entry and okay. And here I have this set up, which is Amy's Bird Sanctuary, and I'm gonna do it starting on July 1st, and it's gonna end after three occurrences, because it'll be July, August, September, which is the whole third quarter. And I'm just telling it to move that revenue out of unearned revenue and into the design income account, because at that point, we're earning it. So that's what that entry would look like. And if I just hit save template, each month it's going to create the journal entry. And that's it. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel for more helpful tips and tricks. Until next time, ciao.